Yells. Yo, 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 Ziggy here, bringing you a Modern Warfare. No, it's not Modern Warfare, actually. Call of Duty World at War on the map, Brown House. TDM, of course. You know, I just started, so I don't have any. I think I don't even have any other game modes. But uh, what up, everybody? It's Friday the 13th. Scary stuff. Actually, it seemed like the scary stuff happened yesterday, huh? Everybody freaked out. Somebody sent a tweet. And bam! This is, this, I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen on December 20th. Watch. <laughs> but apparently yesterday, somebody sent out a tweet about their sub counts. And then everybody freaked out. Um, as much as everybody would tell you also, oh, it's just sub count. You could tell that there were people that really did care right off the bat. And I don't know what happened with vid stats. Let me save seed right there. I don't know what happened to vid stats, but you know, apparently it showed, you know, at the last hour, you know, say you have 5,500 subs, it showed minus 5,500. And it caused a little chaos. And as much as anybody would say that it did, and, it, and you know, I'm pretty sure no one really thought that they would have zero subs. But I think what happened was, you know, vid stats and the uh, social blade, you probably, you know, they probably have some table that they use in the back end through YouTube and they went ahead and grabbed that info and probably YouTube was already in the process even though I, you know I'm, I think they said they were going to delay it I mean that's what we also put out in our podcast you know that we were going to that they were going to delay the inactive sub removals but apparently they were doing something and it you know caused a little bit of a chaos they removed some subs I did notice that when everything did come back up to normal, like, you know, I have to use the biggest example. For example, Ray William Johnson's, his sub count dropped only about 150,000, somewhere around there. And, you know, for somebody that had 5 million something, that's nothing. So, I think in the end, you're going to see that you're going to lose subs. But, it looks like they had some kind of, some kind of formula that they used that is not going to really affect that many people. So, as much as everybody thought it was going to be in the hundreds of thousands or things like that. I don't think it is. I think you've noticed that there's some people that lost only 10,000 or, you know, some of the big ones, yeah, did lose about 40,000 or whatnot, but not a big deal when you're still in the, you know, 800,000, 900,000s, etc. So, and then some of us that are small, like me, I didn't lose anybody. I know a couple of my friends didn't lose anybody, so I'm pretty sure they probably didn't even touch, you know, anybody that was below a certain amount. Or if they did, it was just an obvious you know, or it could be an obvious uh, inactive that was part of the big guys that they removed from everybody. So, no big deal. I think it was a, a panic moment and uh, it caused a little bit of hysteria, which I consider, I thought it was pretty funny because, you know, everybody, a lot of people were, oh, it's not going to happen. Oh, I'll be happy. And then whenever it did mess with them, they were, you could tell it bothered them. I'll tell you that. It, you could tell. If you follow anybody on Twitter, you can tell it did bother them. So, at least some. So I thought that was pretty funny. So I can just imagine on December 21st, whenever somebody first puts, hey, did you hear about that earthquake in, in you know, Japan? And then everybody's going to freak out. Oh, I told you the end of the world at all. <laughs> They're going to be, you talk about mass hysteria. I can imagine the first disaster that happens. There's going to be a wildfire in California. You know, all the stuff that normally happens now. There's going to be some kind of wildfire or, or a, you know, a bad storm come across the south and, and you can see mass hysteria, you know, just happen on Twitter, Facebook. It's the start of the apocalypse. I mean, it's just going to be crazy. And I, I think it's funny that, you know, whenever something is, you know, told. So it, that, that could be considered a, a doomsday. You know, everybody thought that January, you know, 12th was going to be the day that, that YouTube removed subs and everybody kind of was on the edge. And then sure enough, one little sign of something that went wrong with vid stats. And bam! <laughs> so watch what happens on December 21st. Y'all gonna laugh. <laughs> but anyways, World of War Roundhouse. Um, I gotta say, um, I don't know if you've been noticing when I, this gameplay, but it, with the theme, you know, I, you know, Friday the 13th and scary. There's this dude that's in this lobby. You know, this is what makes the game not fun is the hackers, and you can tell this phobia ends guy look at him you, he just came into the game not too long ago i don't know how he died actually i don't know if that triggers the the uh the hack or not but man this guy is jason right now you know jason you believe him. <laughs> nothing happened and this is the point where we're like whoa something's definitely up with this guy i shot a full clip on him and nothing is happening 
and you know just like Jason on Friday the 13th it don't matter how many times you shoot him how many times he gets blown to pieces he comes back for more so I just thought it was pretty funny that you know we happen to play this game and we first you know me and C and club you had uh, you know pretty hack free lobbies it was fun I mean the game is a lot of fun whenever it's not hacked and then you run across things like this and it just takes all the fun away and you know we even brought loyal patriot to play with us for a little bit and i mean he was tearing it up and apparently after i left they got a, a lobby also with a hack person so i mean the hacks just ruin the game you got these god mode people these invincibility people and this guy apparently got the jason Voorhees uh, perk where he can't die so he just i don't know or he did die once and i think he killed himself i don't know if that triggers it or what i don't know any of the hacks in the game but as you can see he's already 27 and 1 just scoring ham on everybody he doesn't have anything either so it's not like he has juggernaut or things like that that makes it too weird so you know, look at him look <laughs> i mean look he's jumping i mean look he's got the michael jordan perk i mean he's crazy and that the hacks just ruin this game but i mean as far as the game itself though we you know if it wasn't hacked man this was a lot of fun i you know i had this game for a while now this was actually probably the i actually think i owned this one first before call of duty 4 i think i bought this one and then call of duty 4 and i started playing four more so you know i didn't have the head start that everybody else had with it played call of duty you know two and three and then they went to four played the hell out of that and then went to five and then you know that was when they you know a lot of people did go back to four i know whenever they had five because that's what happened with me i just you know people were telling me about cod four how great it was so i bought both of them and so it was around this time they came out so you know, I, I think, though, that 5 was very fun if it wasn't hacked. 9 and 12, just as scary as Friday the 13th. And then watch what this guy, you, you know, I wanted to just send something, but it's like, nah, let me restrain myself. He's 39 and 1. He went you know, on a 38 kill streak or something like that. And then he's over here flaunting his hacker skills by making his name bounce side to side. Look at this guy. So, yeah. But anyways... Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> Everything should be okay as far as the uh, sub counts go. Tell me how many subs you lost, but till next time, peace.